everyone, Farmer Min here. Welcome to Oakfield Farm. This is a realistic map set in the area of Glockashire, the UK. Now, the description that I'm going to put, the description of the map that I will put in this video's description um, has a lot to do with PC, and you can read that for yourself. There are a lot of new textures on this map. It's realistic, so it's based off Google Earth, the mini map. Uh, you have the detailed interior farmhouse. You have full season support with new seasons, textures, and models. They say snowmen and icicles. And at the end of this video, I am going to do a time lapse of seasons for you so we can find that out. There are two farms on this map. You have the main farm where we are at that include the cows and the sheep. You have a second farm that has the pigs and the chickens. Um, there's a new plow texture on this map. Uh, three cell points, a BGA, etc. Um, as I said, it uses real Google Earth image PDA map. has two large placeable areas which must be purchased before you can use them. Over 100 new models made by himself. That would be Oxygen David. That is the author of this map. There are forestry, sawmill area, and missions are included. And a couple other PC only um, things. But this is the, the starting point. We are in the house. Um, cool little picture of the farm. Uh, you can come in here you can go upstairs um, there would be a bedroom up here there will be a bathroom in the corner which I believe you will find a nugget so there are nuggets on this map if we go back downstairs so look like you're already moved in you got your duffel bag and everything um, back downstairs and if we go through the kitchen here, we'll come out the back door into the farm. This is a really cool farm. I, I'm a big fan of it. I, I like the buildings. I like the textures. I like the uh, greenery on the buildings. Um, just really, really neat. Uh, this is an awesome map. Um, normally, your pickup would be right here. I have reset it, and I'll show you that here in a little bit. Um, but cool farm. So before we get carried away, let's take a look at the map and the garage. So if we go into the map, first of all, here you can see kind of a Google Earth map. Um, we are right here with the flashing icon. I'll zoom in here. This would be the Oakfield farm right here. Um, you will see that Places with the E would be egg cell points. Places with the F would be a forestry. So right off the bat, you have 9 and 10, which are both grass fields. You have field 13 and field 34 over here. I think that's, yep, that's all I can see. 9, 10, two grass fields and two arable, arable fields. Okay. The roads. One main North and South Road, where you would have um, the sawmills off that road, as well as the other farm with the pigs and the chickens. And then you have kind of these uh, like triangle shaped road work that form a triangle, so to speak. Um, over here, you have a hilltop stores. You have the sawmill, which I said. You have. Um, over here you have another sale point called the Garden Center and the Empire Stores. And up here in the top of the map, up here, you have the BGA, the shop, the spinnery, and the let's zoom in Willow, Willow Brook store. So there's a big area up here as well as another sell point for eggs. There's a big forestry area which is pretty cool. And then of course we have 26 here which is a neat little castle area we will visit. Um, your livestock market is over here next to 20. 
So what we're going to do is when we get going here, I'm going to come out here. There's basically three ways out of this map. One down here to this road, another cut across down here, and then a back way by the church. So we're going to see all three of those. But I'm going to come down here on this road, and we're going to come up this way. We're going to circle here, go by Hilltop Stores, come back down here, and we'll head this way to the bottom of the map, and then up this way. There's a, there's a cut across that we can use to get up here across 5, and then we'll come up across 34, up here to the right into the other farm, and then we'll tour here, and we'll end at the livestock market. Once we get there, I will come back here, and then we'll do the time lapse of the seasons thing, because this is a really, really cool map, and that has to be seen. So... If we go into the fruit types, you can see you have the standard fruit types. PC enabled versions have a lot more options than we do, but that would be that. Uh, there are basically uh, three main sell points for your crops. You have the Empire Stores, the Hilltop Stores, the Willowbrook Stores. Um, prices, you know, about average. Some some see yeah I would say about average for FS17. I started this on normal, so you do have some crops in the bins as well. Um, you get over to the um, manure and slurry. You have a couple cell points for manure. You have a cell point for slurry. You have the spinnery, of course. You have the sawmill for your wood chips and your lumber. And then you have a couple um, bale sell points. Uh, silage you can sell at the BGA. Uh, your two bale sell points would be the Oakfield Farm Barn and the Oakfield Glen Barn. Those are your two farms. Okay. Uh, the equipment, we're going to go through the garage here a little bit, but all pretty new. You don't have anything uh, that's really old. Um, you're... Uh, you have all three animal types. Of course, we don't start with any. Your silage, your storage capa capacity at the farm here is 100,000 liters. Am I that right? One, two, yeah, 100,000 liters. Okay. So here's the main farm. Um, a lot of stuff to do. You're going to see, you know, a lot of light switches on the side of the buildings. These roll up doors right away. That is one big storage area. You could use that for tipping your. Um, crops of some sort if you can hear the sound effects cool sound effects when the door goes up here you have your drop-off point for your silos and your fill point as well and all your silos are over here I like that the individual silos meaning you have you know a silo for each crop you're not having six crops in one silo which absolutely makes no sense um, you got more storage here Lights, of course, either used for machinery storage or grain storage. All these doors open up. Um, cool texture on the ground with the, the grate in the middle. I like that. Um, here you will have a uh, fuel refill point um, and a uh, seed refill point, I believe. Um, I haven't checked them, but I'm pretty sure that's what they are. Before we get too carried away, let's kind of come back here. I want to show you... Um, right here. Oh, wait, before I do that, before we, let's talk about equipment. I forgot about the garage. You start with the Fence 700, the Massey Ferguson 8700, a nice Massey Ferguson combine with header, header trailer, um, agro liner tipper. You have a plow, a horse pronto cedar, a, uh, sprayer, a couple weights, uh, mower, baler, and the pickup truck. So that's what you start off with. Not you know, not a whole lot, really, but the equipment is, uh, you know, you got 165 horsepower, 300 horsepower, so you got new equipment with good horsepower. Right outside the farm here, you do have uh, fertilizer and seed. This is this would just be fertilizer uh, refill points here for both your liquid and granular. Um, pretty neat little area in here. Here's your seed. Uh, these doors do open up. You got some little walkways in here. I like this. You got more nuggets. You got a lot of detail in here. The shelving and stuff, 
you know, equipment around, which kind of makes it look like it's being used. I really like that. Um, the other map that came out today, Oregon Springs, um, you walk around that and you don't see the many the detail that um, you see on this map. And I will post a map tour of that map um, as well when we finish this one. So this comes to a back side. There is no triggers here. Um, this would be just kind of a dump, a dump point or storage point or whatever you want to use it for. More detail here. I just the detail is awesome. The textures are awesome. Um, it makes it look like it is a fully functioning operational farm. Um, you know, fans on the side of the buildings are really cool. Um, I don't know if this is a refill point for fuel or not, but that's what it looks like. But I would doubt it. This right here on the side of the building is where your wool will spawn. Your sheep are kind of up there, where we will visit them in a little bit. You got some more storage area here. Then we come back out to where the combine and your Massey Ferguson tractor was sitting. Continuing on here, uh, here's your customization repair sh repair shop right there. You got some more open-ended um, storage, which is very nice. Um, come in here. This looks like a refill point too. I haven't tried it, but look at the you know little mucky ground here that's just really really cool um, I like that I don't think any of these doors open but look at the writing on the wall love it absolutely love it storage area there you got open storage here this right here is a bell cell point so you can either pull in a trailer or back one in there plenty big enough right next to your slurry this gate will open and close more open-ended storage and we'll go up there in a little bit here but right on this back side you got water here this gate will open up hold it hold down the uh, circle button and you got more uh, storage here with your tipper and your baler this I believe is the manure point right here um, and all your cows are in here. Cool little decoration there. This gate opens up. So if I bought one cow. This is a huge grass field. I mean, huge pasture. You come up here. There's our one cow. He's roaming around. The countryside it just goes on forever. Um, really, really cool. The thing I like about this map is you're not going to see the borders of the map. Um, I was driving around a little bit, and you just think the road continues, and all of a sudden you come to a wall. So it's not like this row of trees that end the, end the border. It, it looks like the map continues, but in reality it ends. I mean, it's just, it's, 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 it's a work of art is what it is. Um, but yeah, huge big area here for the cows. Let's just roam. There's the the church here, which we'll visit there in a little bit. This right here would be field. Um, get the map here. Uh, field uh, 15. Pretty cool up there. And before we forget, let's just go over here to the sheep. They are kind of on the back side over here. Oh, I'd have to jump the fence. This would be the sheep area here um, with their uh, grass hay trough there, water trough over here. Um, you can get into the sheep. I thought there was two spots. Nope, right here. So here is the gate for the sheep. That would open up. And here is the um, buy point for them. We'll just buy a sheep. Should be up here roaming around somewhere. Is that him? Her? somewhere but yeah pretty big pretty big pasture this would be on the back side of the house here so yeah huge huge areas and you know if you um, start off the map in seasons um, oh there he maybe way up there holy cow um, and you don't have any animals to start off with you could certainly use this to um, 
mow it and use it for hay or whatever. So come back here to the cow area. Um, there's our one cow. So they would come in here. Here would be your... Um, these doors open up. Whoa, in my face. To put down all your, your feed and straw. There is also a feed and water trough in through here. This is a bale sell point, so if you want to sell just one bale, that's where it would be. Another gate here. You know, I noticed on the PC version, and we don't get on the console, but you had these water puddles, these reflective water puddles, which were really cool. I was kind of hoping they'd be on the console, but they are not. And there, I think there was one right in here. That was very, very cool. So yeah, so that's pretty much the cows. Um, this area here would be, doesn't serve any purpose. Um, it'd be the milking, um, what do you call it? Milking parlor, milking house right here but for us on the council I, I even think on the PC version it didn't wasn't really animated but that would be there so that's pretty cool I mean detail you know like I said it makes it look like it is a functioning operational farm that's been here for quite a while and it's set up cool I love the setup for it you know playing on ball and Craig uh, it's so tight so the corners are so small you can't get around here would be a silage bunker. There are two on this farm. This is the first one. And right here is the reset point for the vehicles. I reset the pickup right here. So let's just take a drive around. This is going to take us a while, so I'm going to try to I'm going to drive fast. Um, a lot of this map, uh, the whole point of it is just to go off and explore on your own. So I'm going to go out this way of the farm little sign there. I think it says Oakfield Farm. Uh, oh, yeah, Oakfield Farm. Pretty cool. And we are going to take a right. So if you look at the little mini-map, you're going to see we are coming right down here past the sheep. Oh, there's our sheep up there. Yep. And I'll kind of zoom out so you can see the area here. Pretty cool. I don't think. Um, well, yeah, 13 right here on the side would be the uh, one field, one of the two arable fields that we own. Those little island of trees in the middle make it interesting. That is right there. I'll leave a little mini map there open on the bottom. Then we come up here to a sawmill. Or no, it's not a sawmill. A little windmill. Pretty neat right down that road would be the end of the map and you're just gonna keep seeing all the landscape and all of a sudden you just hit a wall so that's pretty cool but we will turn right we'll go north and we're gonna come up here a little car sitting here who knows what they're doing um, if you went left there, you would kind of go off the edge of the map. And there you kind of can see a little bit, um, being up this high, that you can see where the map would end. But we'll go right. Cool road signs. And this will take us right here to one of the cell points. This is the Hilltop Stores. So we pull in here. Here would be a seed buy point. Over here would be a fertilizer buy point. There would be a um, and a sell point for um, crops. I check these doors. None of these doors open up. There is an egg sell point there. Here's where you would drop off your your grains. And I don't think there's anything on the back side. No, nope, a gold nugget. So you got a gold nugget there. Nope. Nothing on the back side. Now I'm going to get stuck. Whoops. Well, I totally destroyed the uh, the brand new pickup truck. But that's okay. I would get rid of it in a heartbeat anyway. So. That would be the hilltop stores. 
continuing on. Now look, look at how it's like it's a straight down downhill. The elevation changes are pretty cool. Um, gates to each area that you could purchase with the, the for sale sign is different than the little flashing icon. And you're going to come across a bridge here that I think is just cool. Yeah, I think that is just awesome. Yep, flowing water beneath you. Great look, great feel. Cool textures. And here you would come into a little town area, so to speak. If you open up the map bigger, if you went left, you're just going to go right off the map. Um, there is a little area here. If you notice, you could drive up that area too. That's going to take you to some fields. You can do that. Um, little area up here that just ends. So there is a collision wall there. But that's what I mean, where you just you think you're just going to keep cruising, all of a sudden you hit a hit a wall, which doesn't make it you know. Which the road just ends because you're not off the map. You're still in the middle of the map, but. But yeah. So if we cruise this way, put the map back on. Now we're just going to come back down here. Um, kind of made a big circle. Little area down here, off to the right, if I can see it. Yep, lots well, of little house down there. Thought it was something else. And now here you come to the church, and if we pulled in this way, this is a back way to the farm, but if you get out, I hope you can hear that. You can hear the church bells and a choir singing. Like choir practice is going on there. I, I don't have the volume up too low, but hopefully you can hear that. Yep, that's pretty cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Neat little area. So if we get back into the pickup truck, and we come up through here, the back side of the church, there's our farm right up there. If we were to take a right, that would take us back up into the farm. But here you see we have an open storage building down here. And this right here is a placeable area that you can buy. Looks like there also is an egg cell point at the church there as well. But you would have to buy that area first before you can make a placeable on it. It is 1.8 hectares and it costs you 58 grand. So we'll come off this way. It would be another way out of the farm if you wanted to. A little area here. A little. There's a little pathway here, which you can. Whoops. You can explore. This is going to come out to the sawmill. So we are right here to the main north and south road. So this would be a sawmill. I've opened the gate already. Um, you can drop off your wood. Um, this I'm assuming would be a lumber, but I don't know. We don't, you know, we don't have that because it would be like a sawmill where you put in stuff and your wood chips. So I, unless there's two lumber cell points, I don't know. But that would be like for palletized wood or whatever they call that for a PC option. So yeah. But that is the sawmill. So we are right here. This is the main north and south road. We're kind of right in the middle of it at the sawmill. We are going to go right down to the bottom of the map. Nice big open fields. Whoa! Whoops, sorry about that. I was looking at Hey, as we know, there are no collision on the hedges. Collision on the fences, but not the hedges. So there, right here, if I was to take a right, 
that would be the driveway up to the farm right there past the sheep which we took when we left the farm okay big field big field on the uh, left I'm trying to speed it up here <laughs> I'm afraid I'm gonna roll the pickup again and eventually you're gonna get to the bottom there'll be a collision but we can take the road to the left so there will be a wall right there but we will go left up this way that is a big field cool field right on the side of the hill I mean it's lovely 43 I think it's the biggest field on the map yeah, it's got to be the biggest field on the map. There's an icon here. I'm just curious. We'll see how big it is and what the price of it is right here. Twenty-five point oh nine hectares, and it's only four hundred and six thousand. So, really, I mean, that is not not expensive for um, certain maps at all. I mean, most some maps that would be you know two three four million easily so big field and very affordable let's just put it that way right here we have the Empire stores sell point as you can see once again you have another fertilizer and seed refill point which is nice if you um, are on different parts of the map you have many options and a manure sell point there here would be your um, grain sell point right there and that's it for this store now if you go this back way here and I don't, I, I don't want to go up this is kind of like a forestry area they call it um, the enchanted woodland there is a drive in here that goes up into the forest if you wanted to do forestry I'm not gonna drive up there you can explore that but that is there I think the other one, the other, there's another forest. I can't think of the name of it. We'll see it. Um, but continuing on, you know, the thing I like about this map is you get the feeling like there's other farms. You know, certain maps you play, um, you, you're the only farm on the map. So you wonder when you see all these other fields that you don't own, well, where in the world is there farms? But here you kind of get the feeling there are other farms. And, and I like that. Lots of houses in through here. See, this says um, Lavender Cottage. Yeah. You know, just uh, like somebody else on the map lives there and uh, farms as well. I like that kind of feeling. More houses in here. And eventually the map ends right there so we are right here at the end of the map um, but however a little cut across that we're gonna take and I believe it's right right back here you'll notice that a lot of these places have these little dirt roads gravel roads Wow, well, this one can be a dirt road that kind of cut across the map which gets you from certain places you know, if you had to access these fields here. But this is going to cut across to the other highway. We are right there. I got to come up here to get out. Right here. And there was another field that we owned. Oh yeah, coming right up here. 34 would be on our left. Another little dirt path there. Gets you a little, uh, another little farmyard there. Whoops, I must have hit something. Farmyard there. Did I pass? I, I thought there was another. Um, no, it must be up here a little bit, a little bit where the E is.
dirt road up there, take you up to a couple other fields, access as well. Yeah, right here, this is the, um, they call it a stables. Yep, six furlong stables. Um, there is an egg cell point right in here. Pretty neat. You know, maybe someday we'll get animated um, horses on on the council version. Look at that. Dips way down there in the middle. That's pretty cool. So there's like a feedy, uh, an old bath of water down there, probably for the horses. Cool. I don't know if that, if this gate opens up. Oh, it does. Yeah. Little road there, but look at the elevations. Cool. Would be for their horses. Too bad we don't have animated horses. And like the PC version, we can ride. That would be cool. Maybe for FS19. So, now we are coming up, right back up here to the main north-south road, and we are going to come in on the back side of our other farm, second farm, the pig and chickens. There are your chickens on the left. I got. I, I don't know where the eggs, if they all, they must just all be in here. Uh, well... Boy, I would hope not. Oh yeah, they <laughs> they must just be laying around there. They'll be found one egg. But there's your chickens. Pretty cool little area for them. Um, whoever lives at the farm, they have a house. Nice, nice looking house here. And this is the pig farm. So you do have um, a silo dump point there. Cool little detail stuff laying around. Um, come back through here. I like this. The the difference in elevation there. Here would be your pig um, pig slurry. I'm assuming this would be a liquid fertilizer refill point. You have storage on the back side here. Um, would probably be a water seed refill point I haven't tried it but that's kind of makes sense lots of open storage here on the back side of the pig farm it has a name I'll look at the sign when we leave I, I, I don't know why I can't think of the top of my head but here would be your pigs um, this would be your straw dump your straw for your pigs um, you have a feeding trough there water trough there here's where you would buy them this gate and there is our piggy hello piggy that cool little area back here I like this pig area I really do I think it's pretty neat um, coming up the back side of the farm um, easy access to this field here 29 which is huge you have more storage that would be your manure there I'm gonna assume uh, this is a bale cell point, I believe. Yep, bale cell point there. Here would be your dump for your silos at this farm right there. Yep, open and close that. Yeah, so that's kind of the pig farm in a nutshell. I mean, very cool. Very, very cool. Right off the main. Oh, there's a nugget on the uh, roof there. So, yeah. So, if you look at the uh, signs, we will go right here. Cool little road map there. Lockashire and Stowe. Yep. And put up the mini map. So, now we're coming right up to the uh, north central part of the map. There'll be a little roundabout here. The end of the map would be straight ahead. So we'll follow these signs. Buckashire, yep. There's a little path right here which take you up to a couple fields for access. Um, area right in here to the left, just some, I don't know, businesses or houses. 
a little stop away point there and right here is the store so this is where you will purchase your machinery you will pick it up from you have a customization point there repair customization point ATM buy point pretty simple store advertise New Holland come into here we have two things we have the BGA and we have the Willow Brook stores so let's go into this part first this here is a fuel refill point so that would fuel the pickup up you do have a seed fertilizer refill point here and your grain sell point come through here on the back side this is where you would sell your wool right here big sign up there says wool so cool area deep nice detail um, well well designed well thought out I I'm a big big fan of it on the other half of it here we will have the BGA come you would come across on your scale here you have your big silo pit right there you would pick up your digestate here and you could fill it up right here so if you feel that bunker you know you got to make a little a little tricky with the uh, conveyors but it's doable it's doable so if you look at the map we are on the uh, that little angle road here we're going to come across here to the last little uh, the livestock market but before I do that I want to show you a couple things I'm not going to go into detail because that you can explore it but you go up that way there is a castle that you can cruise around in and if you went this way there is another forest you take that dirt path dirt road here it will go into a forest area pretty cool the castle is pretty cool you can actually drive your pickup right into it uh, I can't remember the name of the forest lavender forest that's it lavender forest and the uh, Kiltern Castle so big area lots of people walking around um, got a camper out here people are happy people are friendly so that is there you can look at that you get a little view of it when we come across here but yep Kiltern Castle and Lavender Forest a little wayside area here park and take pictures cool and the last place before the map runs out will be the livestock market exchange whatever you want to call it right here where you will buy your animals right in here you can buy your cows your sheep and your pigs so that's right here pretty simple market pretty nice um, it works so that's pretty much it the map if you look at it we pretty much covered everything a um, lot of little dirt rows and paths that you can um, you can uh, view for yourself but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the farm um, and then I have a little um, uh, time lapse of the seasons thing for you there so we'll see you back at the farm all right welcome back um, there you go we are standing up here on the cows there you can see the farm there um, the church down there what a beautiful, beautiful map. Uh, good elevations, good textures. Um, things that we haven't really seen before. But yeah, awesome. Just awesome. There would be the, um, oh, I can't remember the name of that store. The uh, Hilltop store is right there. Yep. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. So. I want to thank you for joining me on this map tour. Um, I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it useful. And I really, really hope that you were able to download it. It took me about two and a half hours this morning going between both this one and uh, Oregon Springs. And I went with whatever one downloaded first. This one did. So I'm quite happy about that. So hopefully um, it worked for you. But enjoy the little time lapse video here at the end. Um, and if you did, if you found the video useful, maybe even a little entertaining, give us a like. We'd appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed yet, um, we would appreciate that as well.
But have yourself a great day and keep between the ditches. So long.